We want to start now with the morning stir. And people apparently are talking about school dress codes. One high school in North Dakota under fire for the way they not so subtly suggested girls avoid wearing tight pants. ABC's Juju Chang has that story. It's that humiliating moment in Pretty Woman. Julia Roberts as a hooker with a heart of gold, getting kicked out of a fancy Beverly Hills boutique for inappropriate dress. Look, I got money to spend in here. I don't think we have anything for you. Please leave. But returning the next day in designer duds to a much warmer welcome. I was in here yesterday. You wouldn't wait on me? Oh. You work on commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Now those iconic scenes sparking an outcry at Devil's Lake High School in North Dakota after the school played them during a female dress code assembly last week. Administrators say they were encouraging female students to refrain from wearing tight yoga pants and leggings. Telling the Huffington Post, the Pretty Woman clips showed the teens how you are in charge of the image you project. But some of those students and their parents say it was over the top. I get like how that lady was judged by what she was wearing, but we don't wear that kind of stuff to school. The message that it's sending to the girls is that they dress like prostitutes and they are sexualizing them instead of treating them with self-respect. The Devil's Lake principal later admitted showing the clip was a poor choice, but across the country, students are protesting what they say is public shaming. Schools sending girls home for wearing jeggings or yoga pants, claiming their clothes are too distracting for the boys. This message is telling boys that if a girl girl is dressed in a provocative way, they have a green light to behave any way they want, and that can be very dangerous. In New Jersey, one middle school is fairly common, but strict shorts and skirts at fingertip length policy sparked a group of students to take action. They launched the hashtag, I am more than a distraction, to push for fairness in schools' dress codes. The dress code fo focuses on girls more than it does on boys. That's like really when we realized that this needed to stop. And we started to take action. Well, school dress codes have been around for generations, but what's different is how they're being enforced. If you go to the hashtag, I am more than a distraction, you'll see tons of heartfelt messages talking about a double standard and the humiliation. They call it slut shaming. And student protests have bubbled up now in a half a dozen states. I'll George? They have. Interesting story. Juju, mm -hmm. thanks very much.